Hello and welcome back to Mastering System Center Operations Manager 2016. This is the beginning of Section 2, looks at distributed applications, which are, as you'll see hopefully, a very powerful uh, portion of Operations Manager. In this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the distributed application concepts and first establish an understanding of what distributed applications are. So, again, what we'll talk about is what are distributed applications and more importantly, why would we want to use them, or why are they important to us? Distributed applications allow monitored objects to be grouped and presented in a manner which resembles the logical layout of a platform or service uh, provided by IT. So in essence, what we look at as operations manager administrators or users in the console are all of these different individual pieces. Okay, we look at uh, memory, we look at all these different things that make up an individual server as a smaller portion of a, of a larger service. However, our stakeholders generally don't care about the individual components as much as they do the application or the ecosystem or the environment as a whole. So when we use distributed applications, as the second portion describes, we can take these objects that are from the same agent or a variety of agents, and instead of monitoring the individual components, we monitor the platform, the service that the components are part of. And we do that through a series of roll-ups to say that this server is healthy because all of the components are healthy, or this server is still healthy because while some components may have a warning, that doesn't necessarily affect the overall health of the server. And because the server is healthy, the application's healthy, and because the application's healthy, you should be happy. So we really get this to a much higher level of monitoring and the, the way we present that information. So if we look at the example of a distributed application that uh, is just a simple snip of something called my distributed application, what we've done is we've taken the various components that we use in Operations Manager and we've compiled those into a series of rollups. And I'll start with the top, which is our distributed application service, MyDA. My DA or my distributed application is made up of a web application that uses a database on the left. It has an IIS website in the center, and then a synthetic transaction runs against the website. So now we're not just looking at is IIS running or do we get this response? We're also looking at the database as well. So if you can see that below we have our operations manager database that's in the bottom underneath the left side. That shows healthy. We have IIS, which has two default website configurations that show unhealthy. But you can see that the roll-up into the MyDA web application is still healthy because default website doesn't actually affect us. In fact, I would probably remove them if I was this person, but I'm sure there's a reason why they don't. And then we have the Live Maps version 5 web console, which is what we're monitoring. And then to the far right, we have our synthetic transaction, which says every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every one minute, however often you specify, I want you to run this transaction against this website and I want you to tell me, based on the criteria that I present, if the response is appropriate. So if I expect to see a certain uh, words or phrases on the page because it's static content or I expect a response back based on dynamic content, then if those with what comes back, then the synthetic transaction is healthy. If I get a not found error, well, that would not be healthy, and then that would go ahead and trigger the alert. So what we're seeing is a larger roll-up of this into a top-level service in this distributed application. And if we were to expand the pluses under the database or the website, the Live Maps website, what we would see then are more detailed components until we finally got to the individual components so that operations manager database might consist of almost a thousand different components, but we don't need to show that to our end users. So why would we use these? Well, the first one is executive dashboards. I've had huge success with beautiful pictures and wonderful charts and all kinds of things that are on a TV screen. And uh, so when you walk past the war room, for a lack of a better term, or you know central command on where we operate with my teams, then we have a big TV that looks out into the hallway that people see when they walk by, and it always has charts and graphs and colors on it. Green means good and red means bad, and we try to strive for constant green. So executive dashboards, they love these. 
application owners really at the end of the day just care about their application. They don't care about what the processor utilization is so we can present just the information they need. You might want to allow BAs or business analysts into a dashboard and not have them look into the other details. Uh, maybe it might cause a little more confusion uh, for them and a little more chaos for you. And again, to display it on that central system. And what we'll look at in other videos is how we can put that into SharePoint, for example. Maybe we present it in a browser uh, on a TV. So there's a variety of ways that we can go ahead and utilize these distributed applications. In summary, distributed applications are one of the most powerful tools in Operations Manager. It is what is going to receive the great value. It's going to show value in what you're doing with Operations Manager to these non-technical stakeholders. So it's a very important concept to understand, and it's a very important concept to start to work with and become very proficient in.